Mina san konnichiwa and welcome to Shogo's podcast. So, today, guys, I'd like to talk about something、um, that I immediately thought when I saw it. Please don't. Please don't do that. So, basically, this incident,、um, specifically speaking, it seems it happened actually quite a long time ago. I don't know why it came out of the news now. Maybe it's because of the relationship with the Yakuza and such. But, anyways, there was this incident、um, in a certain prefecture where、um, there was this man who belongs to the Yakuza. So he was at, he was parking his car at a Yakiniku restaurant. He had his car parked there. And the person who parked his car next to his basically tried to open his door and it lightly, very lightly hit his car. Now, it's something that could happen, of course.、Um, it might make the other person angry. That's completely understandable, of course, but still, you shouldn't rely on violence. But, anyways, what this guy that belonged to the Yakuza did was he, he stepped out of the, the car, he pulled the other guy who bumped his door,、uh, his door onto his car, he pulled the other guy out of the car, he slapped him really, really hard in the face, and what he did after that was really terrible, too. Especially as a person who trains in katana, who loves katana. Basically, he brought, brought out a katana out of his own car and he threatened that he will kill him. Yeah, the person who bumped the door in, onto his car. Yeah. So,、um, by the way,、uh, the, the man、um, did get slapped in the face very, very strongly, but、um, he did not get cut or stabbed or anything. And he got help before he got any. Any more injuries than there. And the person, the, the Yakuza member, got caught. It's really silly the reason why he got caught, but he did. And、uh, so that basically the man was safe. Yeah. But the problem is with this is that、um, if you've been watching my channel or even you know, listening to my podcasts and such, you might think that you know, katana is something that's very common in Japan, you know, because you see it in my videos every single time and such. But even in Japan, katana are absolutely not common. At all. Most people who come to my house, for example,、um, like the,、uh, the kimono dressing sensei of Tomoko and Harumi that come to our house, or anyone, any relative that comes, any friend who comes to our house, they're like, wow, is that a katana? It's like the first time seeing it in my life. No, seriously, they're like that. Even if it's, it's just a you know, zinc alloy training yaito, they're like, wow, I've never seen such a thing in my life. Is it? Okay, if I touch it, you know, it's like, yeah, of course you can, you know, I, I hold on to it every single day, kind of thing, you know. So that's how, what should I say, not so common katana are in Japan in, in today, in the modern day today. So, what the problem is with、uh, such people causing problems with Japanese swords on the streets. Is that the people, because they don't have such a strong image towards katana in the first place, they would immediately think that katana are dangerous and there, there possibly could be stricter rules on how to carry them around or how to treat them. And of course, the, the Iaido federations, for example, the associations will be affected by these things.、Um, for example, we might,、uh, the Iaido trainees like us might be、uh, forced to always carry around our.、Um, Cards that we, we kind of have, like this register card that were registered to the Yado Federation, for example.、Uh, well, basically the Kendo Federation Yado Club, but yeah. So we have these cards, maybe you'll turn into a mandatory rule to always carry them when you have katana with you. Well, we should, yeah, of course, but it's not completely mandatory today in Japan, so it might change into that. And in general, A person using a katana will be seen as a bad person, you know, like if you've seen that kind of news on, on TV and such. So, I really, really do not um, um, like these kind of events, obviously, and I really hope that these kind of things don't never ever happen again. And I really think that the,、uh, the Yakuza member, whoever he was, I don't know, he's already rusted, probably in jail now. I'm, I'm not too sure about that either, but you know. <laughs> just threatening a, a commoner on the streets just because he bumped his car onto your car, just very gently, not that strongly, you know. 
obviously. You know, slapping him on the face and threatening him with a katana, that's not something that you should do. You know, you should, you should know better, obviously. If you're especially a member of Yakuza, you're gonna be, you know, getting caught by that or whatever it is. But anyways, um, the <laughs> really funny part about this story, though, at the end, I like to, to say, is that the katana that this man had, this Yakuza member had, was not even a real one. It wasn't even real. It, it was a probably a mozoto, so that be you know the imitation katana, you know the replica katana that's that can't even cut in the first place. Yeah, maybe it can stab barely. Yeah, but that's like the only thing that it can do. And he went out, you know, slapped in the face, took out his replica katana, and threatened that threatened him that he'll cut him and kill him. Yeah, that's like no, that's really just out of control and I think it's very immature you know very immature it's completely stupid thing it's this really stupid thing to do and I just really hope that never forever from now on either that no one would cause these kind of incidents with katana I mean again not many people have the images in the first place I don't want the images of katana to get any better uh, any worse sorry any worse than this um, and I just really hope that Katana will forever be a, um, an item of respect, you know, and um, something that people look up to, you know. And I know, historically, of course, Yakuza Ember have used Katana to fight, you know, uh, gain conflicts and such. And I know about that, but it's not something you bring out to public, right? Yeah. So I really, really hope that these kind of incidents will never, ever happen again. So then everyone, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. Now it's really funny, I was just about to say my uh, my regular, you know, um, ending scene here, but I was just you know, talking about a uh, formal Yakuza member swinging around a katana on a parking lot of a Yakiniku restaurant and talking about my dream after that. It sounds just really weird, but anyways, yeah, you know, I guess because all the things I talk about are connected to my dream, I guess, and such, so I will talk, be talking about this. But anyways, the ultimate goal of my life is make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So I know, I know there's a lot of people who are willing to come to Japan to travel, study, or work, you know, study Japanese and such, and train in traditional culture. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we're facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I really want to dedicate my life to trying to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generation so they can have a brighter future. And to do this, the nearest goal I have right now is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023 in our main channel. So your likes and comments help to boost our videos to new viewers who have never seen our channel before, so it'd be great if you could help us out. Alright, then thank you so much everyone for listening to today's podcast. I'm pretty sure today's story I will also be making a um, YouTube Shorts. The, the, uh, the kind of react style that I was talking about um, the other day on a different podcast. So I hope you can look forward to that too. All right. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Have a nice day.